My name is Will Nixon. I call this project at Kingston Scarecrow. I have a lot of fun doing it. I take the scarecrow when I look for out of the way places or popular places or just interesting places where I can put the scarecrow in the scene and create some kind of little story. Very early on, I tried taking selfies. Uh, when I saw my face in the photo, I was aghast. I thought, do I really look like that? Am I that old? The answer was hell yes. But I thought of Cindy Sherman's famous series, Untitled Film Stills, and I said to myself, I'm not taking a photo for Match.com or for a resume or to promote myself as a handsome stud. I'm taking a photo to make an interesting story, kind of like a Jack Nicholson in the movies. So that, that conceit helped me um, to just take pictures less self-consciously, less worried about how I looked and more concerned with what kind of a photo it was. And I, I'm playing a role in the photo. When the pandemic hit, I was living in the shirt factory. Uh, there was nothing to do. I was fairly new to Kingston. I said, I'm gonna walk every street in Kingston. So I spent the pandemic out walking around, looking for all these odd corners of the city. I don't know that I've walked every street in Kingston, but I walked a lot of them. And so this, I think having the scarecrow gave me another excuse to go find these little places in Kingston that I found interesting. Part of walking everywhere in Kingston is I feel like a child again. You're in the backyard, you're on the side street, you're going all the places, no one goes. When you're, and you do that as a child. And so I think the scarecrow maybe is kind of a child substitute or something. It's almost like I'm giving the scarecrow a personal tour of the Kingston I discovered when I was out walking around during the pandemic. Kingston has a fascinating landscape because it was that giant cave that I was mentioned. So much of Kingston was blasted and mined and, and chewed up at one point. So even what you find now, the cliffs, the wild areas, they're, they're really an old industrial landscape that's recovering. So it's, a, it's fascinating in that sense. You see the return of, of, of plants and animals, you, a kind of an, almost a new kind of habitat, like a post-industrial habitat that's emerging. Years ago, I was an anti-camera snob, and I, I would look at people taking photographs, and I'd say, put down the camera. To myself, I would say, put down the camera, just look for yourself, and take a picture for your memory. I've become the opposite. I, I love, somehow I can look at an art piece and really enjoy it, but then when I pull the camera out, I start seeing it all over again in, in a new way. Uh, and I, I like the art a lot in, in Artport. It's playful, it's varied, uh, and the space is big and cavernous. So I always have fun when I come down here. I, I think I just like the open-endedness of it. When I, I find with photography in general, and again, I'm not a long-standing veteran at this, I find oftentimes that I'll start with a given idea and I'll take that picture and then I'll walk around to the side and try a different picture and walk over to the corner. And by the end of my photo binge, the photo that I like best was not the photo I started with. It's something I, I didn't even think of until I started working. Uh, and I guess I, so I, that's, I'm wary of coming with a story in mind because I think the best photo might be something very different by the, end, by the time I'm done. I certainly would thank Beth Humphrey, who I know in passing, and thank you and the other people behind this project. Um, I applied on a lark, and I, I'm very glad I did. Uh, all I would really say to viewers is, uh, please have a look, you know, and make up your own mind. I'm not trying to steer you, uh, make a statement. Um, I'm really trying to create photos that are kind of in, interesting and fun and playful.